What are the cheapest bags from Saint Laurent and are they worth buying? If you're in the market for a new YSL bag, you aren't going to want to miss this video. Hey everyone, my name is Steph. If you are a lover of all things luxury, you are in exactly the right place because we get it. Make sure you join us by hitting the subscribe button and the bell down below. I really like YSL bags. I have a few in my collection and I definitely plan to add some more. Now I think with when it comes to Saint Laurent, they're price point of designer bags you know they are expensive and they are investments however they don't seem as ludicrous as some other brands recently especially with their huge huge price increases that are happening in the luxury market right now we have seen price increases for Saint Laurent but they haven't been as steep now it is worth noting that I will link to all the bags that I mentioned in this video today down below in the description box for you so that you can shop them really easily now the prices are correct at the time of filming uh, but it is like likely they will go up in the near future and continue to go up because that is what happens with the luxury market. So what I will do is I will create a blog on the Handbagholic website. I'll pop a link up here for you and down below. Um, I will keep this up to date with the 13 cheapest YSL bags, even as price increases happen. And make sure you stay tuned until the end of the video because I'm going to be revealing out of these 13 cheapest YSL bags, which one is my favorite. The first bag, which is the cheapest bag from Saint Laurent. What I have done, by the way, is I've kind of skipped the wallet on chain sizes, the really small bags. This is the first substantial size bag um, that I could find that I would class as a, a proper kind of bag, if you will. This is the City Toy Backpack. This is in leather and canvas. In the UK, it retails at £760. I will flash a dollar amount on the bottom of the screen. I'm liking this one. It's a super simple backpack. Um, that being said, um, some people would maybe gravitate towards a high street version of a backpack here because you can't tell it's designer so much, but I have no doubt it would be fantastic quality. You have the zipper compartment across the front. And personally, I really like a backpack because if you do have to carry stuff with weight, um, such as a work bag, maybe you've got diaries, iPads, laptops, um, I think a backpack's are so good for your like physical health. Um, when you try and put a lot of weight onto one side, one shoulder, it can definitely start to hurt if you are shopping all day as well. Um, so yeah, if you are looking for a new designer work bag and you know a backpack isn't completely not your style, I would definitely consider this one. The second bag is the shopping tote bag. This is a super simple tote bag from YSL. Um, it's a full leather tote here, which is great because especially with other brands, you will often see different fabrics, um, not full leather ones. This one retails at 865 pounds. Again, I quite like how Saint Laurent, the logo isn't plastered all over it. You've just got like small Saint Laurent on the front there. And then you've also got, I believe, YSL in the little key charm thing as well under the leather flap. This comes in some really beautiful colors. We've got gray, we've got black, we've got red, we've got a nude here. I really liking the nude one. I think that's really beautiful. But if I was going to have this as an everyday kind of workhorse bag, I would definitely go for a black or a navy. The next bag is one that I'm seriously considering adding to my collection. Um, I've had my eye on this ever since it came out. This is the Rive Gorge uh, tote bag. This is the small size and this is in linen and leather. Uh, this one retails at £880. Now you can get this one in the grige, which is like a grey, beige and black combination. Combination. I really like that the handles are leather and they are black um, because we do see some tote bags when they've got like lighter colored leather handles. If you plan to use it a lot, you know, like an everyday like school or work bag, they're soon going to discolor. So I'm really glad they put the thought into that. This does come in different colors and they have a white and black, 880 pounds, perfect. Like I said, for, as an everyday bag, um, but I think a lot of people buy these as beach bags, summer bags, you know, when you're on your holidays. And I think they look really nice. The fourth bag is the Panair bag. This one has major summer vibes, 880 pounds. So this one is made from a crochet raffia and smooth leather. Yeah, I am loving this one. I can just imagine this with a white flowing dress, walking along the beach, uh, carrying your beach towel, your water bottle, all the things that you need in summer. It has a really long shoulder strap. So this one's definitely meant to be worn on the shoulder, not the crook of the arm. And then you've got the YSL detail on the front in gold. The way that the tan, the raffia and the gold hardware on this bag, like all work together, I think is super beautiful. 
Yeah, if you are in the market for a new summer bag, like a beach bag, I would definitely pick this one. Next up is a style that I think is a bit more casual and definitely more fun. This is the Grace Small Chain Bag. Now I have seen these when I went to Harrods and I can confirm they are really beautiful, definitely quite different. So this one comes in like a suede, you've got loads of tassels on the front and you've got a really small YSL logo charm um, there which dangles down. I really like that, I think that's like super cute. It definitely would, would go with certain people's styles. I'm not sure about mine um, but yeah I love this one it comes in a sea turquoise with the gold hardware that one looks perfect and also like a neutral taupe kind of color again it works really well with the gold hardware the grace bag is currently 945 pounds next up is a personal favorite if you are looking for something a little bit different this is the reeve gorge bucket bag i feel like this is a new addition uh, to the collection because i haven't really seen this one before we've had the tote bag and that's been really popular so now we have this bucket bag bucket bags are definitely coming into fashion I I think people are craving something maybe that's a bit different to everything else in their collection. I know I am. Um, I don't really have like a bucket style bag in my collection. Um, so this is one that I would seriously consider. This one is in linen. Currently, it looks like the only option is in natural, which is this light color. It looks like we have like a darker tan colored leather on there, which worked really well with the linen. And actually, if you see the picture of this on the model, it's quite a big bag. This is going to be perfect. Again, I like to carry a big water bottle around with me uh, because I always like access to water. This is gonna be perfect for those summer days, those bigger items. You could use it as a work bag, um, just be a little bit different to the tote. And also this would probably work a lot better cross body. Obviously you can't use a tote bag, bag as a cross body bag, um, but you can the bucket. This one is 1,020 pounds. Now onto a style that I think is going to be incredibly popular again as people search for something a bit different this is the vinyl round camera bag this one retails at 1040 pounds you've got it in black white and also neutral you've got the gold ysl on the front and your chain strap this comes in the it says the like grained leather which is great it means it's not going to scratch as much and again i think this bag is great we are seeing the rise of heart-shaped bags of circular bags of bucket bags again i think it's just people wanting something different from the normal rectangular or square kind of style bag um, this would be perfect as a crossbody bag. It looks quite large, so I don't think you will have a problem getting any kind of like phone inside of here. It's quite thin as well. This one for me, um, I would use as a shopping bag. You know, when you've got your phone, um, a few small items like a purse or a card holder and your car keys. You don't wanna carry something that's too heavy because that would just be unnecessary, but you want like a nice accessory to finish off your outfit. This would be the one to go for. The next style of bag has to be probably the most popular style of YSL bag. I do see them quite a lot and I can see why they are fantastic bags. This is the Lou camera bag. This one retails at 1,090 pounds. This is a full leather crossbody bag. This is meant to be worn crossbody or on the shoulder it's got a long strap on there you've got YSL on the front you've got the um, chevrons and you've also got the tassel hanging down it comes in so many different colors red teal nude white gray black um, I am really liking this one I know a lot of people because these these bags are easy to get into you can open them because they're like a nice soft leather and you can just access everything that you need inside I, I do know people that use this as a work bag again if you don't have bulky items like a diary or iPad this could work really well. You get your phone in there, your purse, and maybe all your everyday essentials. Um, it's quite a nice size bag for every day. It's quite versatile as well. Like you could use it for work if you don't need to carry too much with you, but you could also use it like shopping in the day. And to be honest, I don't even think it would look out of place at some you know, nicer events going out for brunch or a nice dinner. The ninth bag is an absolute classic. If you are in the market for an evening bag, I think everything that we've been through has been casual up to yet. This would be, um, and it actually nearly was, one of my first ever designer bags. This is the Kate Small Chain Bag. This bag is simple, it is to the point, it is classic, it's timeless. It's gonna last you like a lifetime. So yeah, if you're looking for something that's smarter, 
than what we've seen. Less casual, I would go for the Kate. This one retails at £1,225. Obviously, this comes in different sizes. This is the smallest size, so if you need something bigger, go for a bigger one, however they are more expensive. Um, these generally come in various colours, however, at this moment in time of filming, it only comes in dark beige with the gold hardware, which again, I think looks absolutely beautiful. Now, having this bag myself, I can say that the grained leather is really great. Like, it does not scratch. You can just use it over and over again. I really love the Kate bag as an evening bag. Um, it just looks so gorgeous. And if you get like a nude or a black, for example, with the gold hardware, you can generally wear them with absolutely anything. Next up, we have the Sadie Leather Envelope Clutch in Lambskin. This is really beautiful. This is a quite a large size clutch bag. It has a small YSL logo on rather than a big one that we've seen on other sizes of bags. Definitely quite a wide clutch bag. It looks very comfortable. Now this bag I feel is playing up to the pillow cushion trends that we have seen brands like Chanel, Louis Vuitton uh, do in their own way. This feels like Saint Laurent's version of that. This retails at £1,225 here in the UK. Uh, it comes in uh, various colours. We've got black, we've got white, we've got a dark green. Uh, we have a nude as well. I'm really liking the vintage Blanc just in general, which is the white colour. It's like a white with an undertone of grey with the small YSL logo on. If you are a clutch bag person, you like a roomy clutch bag, a comfortable clutch bag, maybe it can like t double up as a pillow. It looks that soft. Um, then this one could be the bag for you. If you are a cross body bag lover, which I definitely am, um, this one could be a really good choice. Uh, this is the Kaya Small Satchel in Smooth Leather. This one retails at £1,285 in black. Um, and you've also got a vintage blanc white version. Now I have seen this bag before at Bista Village. Um, it was like an ostrich leather in tan with gold hardware. It was so beautiful. I really like the simplicity of this particular bag. You can just crossbody it and go, but it's not your standard kind of size. Um, I would say it's in between a kind of cape with your sophistication kind of uh, vibe, but then the shape of the bag is quite casual, the way that it like loops round and is like half, half semicircle almost. I'm really liking this one. Uh, definitely one that I, again, would look to add to my collection because I just find crossbody bags so useful. What do you think? The 12th cheapest bag from Saint Laurent. I love this one. This is the 80s vanity bag. Um, this has a combination of quilted and smooth leather. You have the zippers on the front. Oh my gosh, you've got this like little YSL tag that is adorable on the front of this bag. Now, it wasn't until maybe a few years ago when Louis Vuitton brought out its vanity case as more of a bag that I think this shape of bag has become like more and more acceptable. Um, they're really, really cute. And I don't think this one looks like, obviously it kind of looks like a vanity case, but because it's not too wide, I feel like it would sit really nicely on the body and just work really well as a crossbody bag. I'm loving the detail again of the chevron stitching around the center of the bag, but then you've got the smooth leather on the top and bottom. You've got a variety of colors. We have white, red, and black currently in stock. This one retails at 1,350 pounds. Last but not least, the 13th cheapest bag from Saint Laurent. This is the Charlie Medium Shoulder Bag. Now, this one I feel is like a practical bag. If you want a crossbody bag that's comfortable, um, it's got the YSL logo on the front, but it's not too big. Um, it's not too shouty. It's just a really great, quality bag that's probably going to last you for many, many years. Uh, this one retails at £1,380. Currently on the website, um, they only have this in black, but I can imagine if it's popular, they will bring it out in more colours. It's quite a flat bag, so I think this one's going to work better with smaller purses, your phone, as opposed to bulkier items, because I don't know if they will fit inside. However, the bag does look like it concertinas out, so you can get uh, more inside the bag, but obviously you won't be able to close the flap if it's too kind of packed full. If you are looking for a designer bag that's not too shouty, um, good quality, um, but just looks really nice and sophisticated, um, it kind of reminds me of like people, like horse riding, that kind of saddle shape. Um, yeah, 
I really like this one. I mean, I don't think it's personally my style, um, but I definitely can see this working for a lot of people. I promised at the start of the video that I would reveal out of the 13 cheapest YSL bags that I've just taken you through, which one is my favorite? Like which one would I pick? Now, I am biased because I would pick one that suits what I already have in my collection. So I thought I would share with you, if I were looking for an everyday bag, I would go with the Lou camera bag. So many colors, I think this is gonna be super practical. Now I do have quite a few bags that cater to this. So this isn't the one that I would buy. It's the one that I would recommend if you literally are starting out or you know, you're looking to add an everyday bag to your designer bag collection. If I were going for an evening bag, hands down, I would go for the Kate. It is simple, I love it. I actually have a Kate in my collection and that is why I wouldn't add another one. So the bag that I actually out of the list would would add to my collection and I'm seriously considering it um, would be the Reeve Gorge tote bag or the Reeve Gorge bucket bag. I'd probably go with the bucket bag just because it's a bit different. Um, I think the Reeve Gorge tote bag's been around for a little bit now. Um, I definitely really like the look of it. However, I think the bucket bag for me would work better because you can cross body it. I like that it's something a little bit different. Again, I don't have a lot of bucket bags in my collection um, and this would be the one that I would go for. Let me know in the comments, which bag are you liking the look of the most? As mentioned, so that you can shop this video super easily, I have hooked you up with all the links down below in the description box. Prices are likely to change because as we know, designer brands like to increase their prices on a regular basis. So for the most up-to-date prices, head over to the Handbagholic website. The blog is linked down below and I will keep that updated with the newest prices. Make sure you don't go anywhere because coming up next, I will link my latest video release here for you. And over here, I'm doing the exact same thing with Louis Vuitton. I have trawled over 500 styles of bags to reveal the 13 cheapest. Enjoy.